going on YouTube Dippers? California Dipper here with another dip review today. Well, today it's not a dip review. I'm just gonna go over a bunch of random bullshit of different little dip tricks and tips and tricks and shit you can do when it comes to dipping and how to do different shit while you're packing a fucking dip. Um, today we're listening to some South of Heaven by Slayer. If you guys can't hear it, it's because I'm just playing it on my fucking phone. Uh, Fucking, uh, I'm outside right now, obviously, didn't have anything to play music off of, and, uh, someone by the name of Nathan Miller commented on one of my videos saying I play some, or suggested I play some Slayer in one of my videos, and I think that was a fantastic fucking idea, especially since, uh, Jeff Hanneman, their guitarist slash bassist, just, uh, passed away recently due to what I believe was liver failure. Um, may you rest in peace, buddy. Great band. I, I was fortunate enough to be able to see them play live once, which was last summer Mayhem Festival, actually. Uh, be able to see them play live while they still had uh, Jeff playing for them. Uh, so, anyways, before we do anything, we're going to throw in a dip, because you can't make a dip video whether it's about the dip or not without packing the fucking dip. So, today, I just got a log. Thank you to Mr. Diehard Gator Fan 33 and Lizard King 6906 because they sent me a coupon for 350 off a of log to Copenhagen. I actually got another one of those in the mail yesterday from FreshCope.com. But, uh, fuck. What were we gonna say? Let's pack a dip. Only taking the dip out of here just to practice. This earlier this morning, it's about 8:16 right now. Got up at 7 for the dip. I have another review on here of Copenhagen Long Coat. If you guys want to watch it, fucking god damn it, I fucking hate that when this shit falls apart. Copenhagen Long Coat, if you guys don't know, is not. It's more of a mid cut, in my opinion. It's definitely not a uh, long cut. Or as long as some other things to say. Mm. Ugh, so good. It's like fucking. I don't know if I've said this before, but I think I have. This shit is fucking. Shit, I'm sorry, I just got to text this. Fucking, uh, coping along with sex in a can. That's exactly what it is. Alright, I'm just boofing right now. Pause this so we can get together or get our shit together. So, dip tricks. Um, couple different things. First one I'm going to do is how do you put in a dip? Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. You guys just saw me do it a second ago. I didn't do it that well. Normally, you like to just kind of throw it in there and use all the tongue, but my fingers kind of got stuck and it's falling apart, so you had to do what you had to do. But there's different ways to pack a dip. Um, fucking, I'm not going to put more in at the moment, but I'm just going to show you guys. You got yourself your fucking pinch. This is just a little pinch for educational purposes. Uh, and when you, when you first start in the one way, when I would recommend when you're starting, Pull out your lip and put it right down there in the middle uh, of your lip. It's easier there, I think, you know, when you're first starting to pull your lip out. You slowly kind of graduate to the point where maybe you could do it. You just throw it in there ew, without fucking uh, pulling down your lip. That'll make it a little easier. And then you get to the point where you can grab your dip. And what I like to do now is put it. Oh, hold it on this side for education purposes. Oh, and you just kind of push it on the inside of your cheek and bring it down. Push it against here so it's kind of pushing out and push it down. Um, and that's one way. Another way you can do it, if you guys are cool like Lizard King 6906, you just grab your fucking dip and you pretty much just go throw it on your fucking tongue and uh, do it all from there. There's some dips, dude, I don't know how the fuck you do that with some of those dips, because some of those things are fucking disgusting. I mean, you do that with everything. And there's some dips that I don't even want to push down with my tongue. 
Uh, Alright, but anyways, next tip trick of the day is a very common one people want to know is, and we'll actually use this here empty, brought this can of Southern Bun out for educational purposes. It's empty, as you guys can see, but fucking, it feels weird opening a plastic can after I've just been opening. It's my third can of this shit. Uh, out of my log I got like, three days ago. Um, is how do you pop this thing out? You guys can see there's the gold ring. If you don't know, you can pop out everything that's in the middle of that gold ring. And the way you do it is you just squeeze it like this while you're squeezing. Is You just keep turning it. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. And you're just going to, you know, so as you're doing this, you're going like this. I don't know, it's funny. No homo or anything in that. Uh, and you're just going to, you're just squeezing and turning the whole time. Eventually, it starts to hear crack, which is good. Uh, when it starts hearing crack, and that means it's coming off. Keep waiting until you get farther and farther. What I like to do is sometimes you'll just have like one little piece connected here, as you just kind of grab the the part that's like that. You just kind of just I do that, and that works really well, I think. Um, and then just keep working. Sometimes it can take up to 20 minutes, even uh, depending on the can and shit. You can only do it with some cans, like anything that's U.S. smokeless that is a metal can. You can't use any plastic top cans, obviously, and Grizzly, their cans don't work for it. Uh, another very common one is how do you drink with a dip in? Um, how do you drink with a dip in? Well, what I like to do is spit first. And then, I got shreds going everywhere else. And you get your drink. And you drink it. Uh, now, don't necessarily if you're especially if you're new to dipping, don't just drink drink normally. I mean, I I I can taste, I can feel the shreds going down. That kind of mixes that soup. Um, is what I would do is when you're first starting, especially say put it when you're first starting to drink. While you're dipping, I would recommend putting. You know, don't have to do what I say. This is just my recommendation. Put your dip right up here in front, okay? The reason being, whether you've been dipping for a while and just, you're just first starting to drink while you're dipping. Um, by the way, today we're drinking some green tea mixed with lemonade we got from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, fucking good shit. Organic. Um, but anyways, put your fucking dip there and put your tongue around it. Like, kind of keep your tongue as a uh, as as a out or as a cover to it, you know. So say my dip's right here in front, like that, and oh, that's good. But fucking, it just it protects your dip um, from 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 the drink mixing with it, and you not have to worry about swallowing any. And as the time goes on, now say you're packing it back here, you can kind of I got packing it right here, about back there. And drink on the other side, just kind of, just is, is what I did, well I didn't do it on that one, what I'm going to do, is <laughs> fucking, kind of put the drink on the other side of your mouth, like where this is, and you just kind of, do that, uh, and then you get to the point now, where after you do that enough, you can just, you know, I always like to spit before, and you just just drink it like a normal drink. You don't have to do anything extra. Um, that's another thing. Fucking man, I had another cool one. I was trying to think of. I can't remember. Oh yeah, well, this isn't it. But here's another one: is how do you spit in your mud jug without getting the little spider webs shown here? I just learned this from Mr. Diehard Gator Fan 33. He he really helped me out with this. Well, one of the, one of the parts of this at least. Um, or no, no, that's for a different dip trick, never mind, <laughs> fucking, but, is what you like to do, and what you'll notice is people spit on YouTube that are spitting in their, mud, in their mud jugs, I hate it when I get a little bit spit and shit there, it's just annoying, and, angle your head down, you know, and normally you're just, when you first start, and already got something on there, especially like, say, if you're used to spitting in a soda can or something different, you, kind of like that, but with a mud jug, you do that, you're gonna get the shit right there, so what you gotta do, is tilt your head down. Like, if you notice, if you guys watch people that are dipping and spitting mud jugs all the time, you pay attention to it. Uh, I didn't even notice this until I started doing it just naturally. Is tilt your head down. You know, if you guys keep seeing me spit, I'm just tilt my head down like that because you're just going. 
you're getting the shit on there. And it's annoying as fuck. Um, so that is a great way to do it. How to pop your funnel off a mud jug when it's really tight. Um, this one's still pretty tight. Normally what you do is you just kind of grab it and you, well, you guys can't see here, but you just kind of fucking push up with your thumbs. Now what you can do is, what I would do when I first got this especially, is you just kind of, this is really full, so I'm not taking the funnel off right now because it's going to spill all over my lap maybe if I do, and I don't want to do that. But when it's new, is I just kind of, you just kind of pull it up here and around and just work your way around again and again until it eventually gets close to coming off. Don't pull too hard because you don't want it to fucking fly everywhere and get spit everywhere, which I have done before. Another thing, guys, is make sure, let's see, I can just get a little bit off, right there, kind of up. If you guys can kind of see, you can, ah, fuck, well, if you guys can see the bottom part of the funnel, or of, of the jug under the funnel, you don't want that. You want to make sure it's all the way down, so you cannot see the rim of the, or of the jug under the funnel, because that means it's not on all the way. And one time, as I'm walking through my hallway in our newly designed, or redid family room, or dining room that my uh, fucking parents did, I'm walking through there, talking to my mom, she's right there, drop the jug, and it flies everywhere, it was full, we got, I mean, the funnel pops off, we got spit all over the wall, over the fucking carpet, she was so pissed, and that's why I now have to dip outside when, um, they're around, they say, if you're gonna dip, you need to go outside and pack a dip, fair enough, but the reason being is my funnel is not on all the way, if it is, I've dropped this multiple times with it on there, and everything's fine, so, be careful, um, fucking, I had another dip trick for you guys today, but I'm running out of time, Maybe I'll make a part two of this or something. Um, quick shout-outs, Joshua Lindsay. Uh, he's got some awesome videos. Joshua space L-I-N-D-S-E-Y. He's got great videos. I love watching his videos. And, of course, my favorite dip reviews on the Internet or anywhere is by Mr. Diehard Gator Fan 33 and Mr. Lizard King 6906 Don't put Mr. in front of those because that wouldn't be right. Um, they do a dual channel. All their videos are on Lizard King 6906s channel. So, oh, uh, Watch those. Uh, Nathan Miller, I want to thank you for requesting me to play Slayer. I appreciate the comment, dude. I, I love any of you guys, and I'm sorry. I know I got more comments from other people, and I'm really sorry if I'm not mentioning you guys in it. I really do appreciate the comments and the support. If I haven't commented back yet, I'm sorry. I'm busy as fuck. I used to, man, there's a time where I'm just pulling, putting out multiple videos in a day, and I've been so busy. I barely, I mean, this is, I just haven't had time to do shit. So, um, that's what I got for you guys today. I am the California Dipper. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate every view I get. I really do appreciate it, guys. Comment, subscribe, comment, and I'll try to do my best to comment back. I do read everything. I really do appreciate the support I get from you guys. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, keep on dipping.